they, they called up the loud speaker. All the adults come downstairs and line up. And so my mother, my auntie, and another lady in the apartment, they went downstairs, they didn't know why, but they went downstairs and they made them line up. The man with the gun with a bayonet on the end of it, the Nazi, he jabs at them and the person starts to be bleed and fall down. And then you see the footsteps in the snow, the blood footsteps on the snow. And then next thing I knew, they marched them away. And that's when I saw my mother last. And so naturally we were scared, didn't know what's gonna happen to us, no mommy and my cousin has no mommy. So we looked up to Kitty because he was the oldest. She was, I think, 11. Yes. 11 year old. I had a chance to say goodbye to my mother. And all I remember is seeing her there and feeling very sad. And that is when I took responsibility for my little sister. And uh, I cling to my sister, Kitty. It was cold and she kept me warm as much as she could with her little body. And then the days were going and our mommy didn't come. It was very, very scary. And we were hungry and our stomach gargled, you know, and nobody was giving us anything. And then once in a while, I don't know who, but they brought a pot of soup. And there was no meat in it, but hot, it was nice and hot, you know, and it was, you could taste the peas. But then sometimes it had worms on the top when it popped out from the peas, because they were old peas that they gave away. <laughs> and so that's what we ate. So after a while, there was absolutely no food. And gradually, uh, the people died of starvation. <laughs> 